love all and it's free. That's where you come from. We're out here to teach our people the truth. Because we sick of these lies, we sick of these wicked, money-grabbing pastors, lying to our people, keeping our people on the damn box while everybody else usurp authority over us. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians have one point four trillion dollars. Trillion with a T. But you spend it on every other nation that don't give a damn about you. And then wonder why your ass is on the bottom. You don't want to read the Bible. You don't want to know the truth. And then you want to give your glory to they wicked ass. Why they call you Moonion and a Kato. What the hell is wrong with you? You are the greatest people that money don't have to buy. The greatest players. And money don't even have to buy. Read on. And there you should be sold unto your enemies. No, to your friends. Unto your enemies. Unto your enemies. For one man. For slave men. And one woman. Sold to Massa Massa Brown for two bits. Sold to Massa Jones for three bits. Sold to Massa Johnson. Massa Smith. Massa Henderson. Massa Anderson. Let me know when I get to your damn last name. These ain't your last names, man. These are the slave owners that fucked your mothers and fathers, mothers and fathers, mothers and fathers, mothers and fathers. Why? If it weren't for them, your black asses wouldn't be here. Bring it out. You wouldn't even be here to have a damn attitude. Read on. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. And that says, buy means to redeem. Nobody will redeem you. Who's heard of Malcolm X? Elijah Muhammad? Louis Farrakhan? They tried to redeem you. Farrakhan been teaching 50 damn years. I'm talking about Asalaamu Alaikum, bow tie, and the bean pass. You're still on the bus. How many have you heard of, uh, of uh, Martin Luther the King? Ain't we in Atlanta? Anybody heard of Martin Luther King? What happened? They put Martin, they killed Martin Luther King. They killed Dr. King, despite his effort. He was a good man. He tried to do the right thing, but he wasn't in the truth. He was teaching from another damn man, as a matter of fact. Can we all get along? Let's hold hands. The Bible, Yahweh says, I come to bring division and a sword. Deuteronomy 76 says, You are a holy people. Holy means separate. And nowhere in the Bible does it say, uh, Hang out with them, chill with them, be with them. I chose you to be a special people above all nations. And that's what he meant. Not to be on the bottom, subservient to them but to be above all nations that are on the face of the earth, okay? So now that I've been up here ranting and raving in the rain for the last two hours, telling you who you are, you so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics, you so-called Native American Indians, let's find out what's required of you. Let's Bring say what God tells you to do. Now that you know that you're a special people, or they can bring Amen, Father speak. The black one. It ain't free. Yeah. I'm a child of God. I'm a God-fearing woman. 
Okay, give me first uh first down five and three. No, no. First down five and three. Let's see if you love God. Let's see. Let's turn. Five and three. Bring it up. But this is the love of God. This is the love of God. God is going to tell you out his own mouth how to love you. Read. That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not free. Keep the commandments. They're not hard. He's not asking you to do nothing incredibly hard. He's asking you to do simple things. Keep the commandments. You want to show you love God? You can't email God. You can't text God. You can't Instagram God. You can't reach up and hug God. Read it again. First turn, five, three. Read. For well, this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. His commandments are not breathing. Commandments are not breathing. They're not hard. This is the New Testament. For all you people that bear in the New Testament no longer under the law. Keep the commandments of God. Let's see what some of the commandments are. Leviticus 11, chapter 7. Bring it out. Lock it. Verse 7. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. Last I checked, swine was pink. Read. So he divided the hook and the globe is footage. Yet he chose not to die. Read. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is unclean to you. The Most High said that the hog is unclean to you. The pig is unclean to you. Now we're taught in the Christian church. One verse that they love to run to Paul's letters and say, well, if God, God ain't made nothing bad. If you pray over it, it's good. Okay? Read that again. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine. So, it divided the hood. Read. And be cloven footed. Read. Yet, he chose not to die. Read. He is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. He is bad for your body. Read on. Of his flesh, he shall not eat. So not only are we not to eat it, you ain't even supposed to touch it. You're not even supposed to lay hands on it, man. It is a filthy animal. It is the filthiest animal on the face of the earth. Okay? But we can't wait to throw that thing on the grill. Put some barbecue sauce on it. Get some ribs. I want some ribs. Give me a rack of ribs. <laughs> I want some ham sandwich. Give me some smuggling pork chop and onion. Give me some bologna. Give me a, a meat lover's pizza. Give me that pepperoni. Oh, right. What the hell? Fortune <laughs> news. Chitlin, oh, who that? Chitlin. How many of y'all had chitlin? Don't hold your hand up. Got it here, watch it. I see it's fine. I'm gonna say, this is what I'm noticing. They get wet when they even get damp, they start coming off. I don't want to put it in all right. I'm this on my headband. This girl was telling her she was I can't wash. I'm like, how the hell do I wash it? Oh, Thank you. Oh, cool That's the story. Okay, yeah. I got I got to wash All right. So, yeah, man. That hog is unclean for you. You're not even supposed to touch it. Just say it below. Okay. Everybody want to run the Paul's letter. Talking about, yeah, man. Yeah, but it's but, 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 but Corinthians. Or in Romans, or in Acts, you know, yeah, we hope. You can get away with it now. You know, Jesus said he pray over it, you too. He wasn't talking about swine. He was talking about man. You ain't going to eat no man, are you, unless you're a damn cannibal. But the reason you don't know that is because you run it down to these Christian churches who was taught by the white man under Catholicism in theology school, and that's what they taught them to teach you! Now they are in there with it lit. Right, bro. A lot of people think that these laws are just spiritual. They're not just spiritual. They're physical. Bring it out! When you shave as a black man, when you shave your face, you get razor bumps. Because you're not supposed to shave your damn face. You don't nothing. When you eat that swine, it's eating you inside your body. 
Tell them what it does to alter their body. Tell them what it does. It's eating your intestines. Get them all the Get the diseases that they have. Uh, what, what's the disease? High uh, blood pressure. High blood pressure. Why got them? You get all of these diseases yeah. by yeah. eating these things. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. When you go around having sex with every single person, you get AIDS. The white man don't get AIDS like you get AIDS. Because the laws were important. Like they're for you. You get syphilis. You get herpes. You get all these things because you're going to get Everybody. Look around. Don't think these laws are just spiritual. They are spiritual. But they're physical too. Alright. Alright, so like your brother was bringing out, you know why we dying at alarming rate? You know why we got the highest health problems out of everybody on the face of the earth? You ever thought about why Big Mama died at 32? Or 58? Or 63? Eating that damn home, man. Eating that home. Drinking all that sugar. Eating them friends and up. They brought some fire to you. What you call it, bro? I don't know if I live in here long time. Yeah, man. It's a lot of sloppy. A lot of y'all think that these uh, crabs and all this shrimp and all this stuff is good. A shrimp is a cockroach of the sea. Right. A crab is a rat. Back in the 1800s, when you were in prison, they gave you a lobster as, as a punishment. Bring it out! Now your ass is going off paying $68 just to get a rack. Get it out! They think you're smart. They think you're your wife or your, 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 your girlfriend on a jet to eat rats Bring it and roaches. Bring it out! Go to your house, you got rats and roaches in the house. Bring it out! 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 Bottom line is, these are creatures that eat the filth of the bottom of the ocean. Shrimp, crab, lobster. We don't know that because we've never been talking. That's why we out here in the damn rain. We're bringing out to our people. Why? Because we're watchmen of Israel. We were commanded by God to come out here and feed our people to the marriage. Okay? And he said, give them a warning from me. Right. Stop eating pork, crab legs, lobster, uh, shrimp. This is new. They're uh, unclean to the you. Brown. Okay? They, they put us on. You're not even to touch it. It's a defiled animal. God has not changed. He's not the author of confusion. Malachi 3 and 6 says, why am the Lord? I change him not. So he ain't changed my forefathers and foremongers. He ain't changed you. Okay, you can run to Paul all you want to. But last I checked, Yahweh shall not Paul on his ass and straighten him out. You been all right though? So are you going to believe Paul? Or are you going to believe Yahweh I'm going with Yahweh Shah. You take your no feet. And Brother Paul was standing here right now. He said, Yo, dumb ass better follow Yahweh Shah as I am. If he was standing here right now next to me, that's what he would say. Believe upon God, Yahweh. Let's get some more laws. Bring it out. This is Numbers 1538. Speaking to the children of Israel. Speaking to who? The children of Israel. No, everybody. The children of Israel. Good. All the nations on the face of the earth. Speak unto the children of Israel. Bring it out. Forbid them that they make them fringes in the corner of their garments. So this is why you see the brothers up here and sisters with fringes on. It's a commandment of God. Is it in the top 10 commandments? No. Like we told you, there are 613 laws that we commandment. Our people don't know because we have never been taught. That's why we are out here to bring it out. Call it again, read it from the top. This is Numbers 1538. In the Old Testament, under the laws of Moses. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. And bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments throughout their generations. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. So that's what you see the brothers have on. Throughout your generation is everybody, man. You, your father, your kids, your grandkids, throughout your generation. Day in, day out. Read what? Read on. It's number 1539. Remember 
for all the commandments of the Lord. Read on. And do them. Read. And that ye speak not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a whoring. Which ye used to go a whoring. Right. Going after your own lust. Doing your own thing. Doing what you want to do. Right? It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Hell no. That's not what the Most High said. He said, put your fringes on with a ribbon of blue so that you do not go after your own eyes and lust after your own eyes in which you use to go a whoring. Okay? Literally and metaphorically. Stop breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. Earlier when we read about the, the dress code. That's one for the men, let's get one for the women. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring your fit. Before we get there, let's see what the man's commanded. Bring it out. Leviticus 19, verse 27. Bring it out. Yes, shall not crown the corners of your beard, your head. Neither shall thy bars the corners of thy beard. So the Bible says you're not to shave off your head. Okay, like Michael Jordan. Okay, and other brothers that love to shave off their heads. That is an Egyptian custom under Pharaoh. That's what they love to do. Walk around with a bald head and a damn ponytail hanging out. Bring out 22 and 5. I'm going to prove something right now. This is Deuteronomy. Hold that. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaining to a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read. All that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So the woman is not supposed to put on that which pertains to a man. What do men wear? The, what do women wear? They men wear, and they're not supposed to wear. Hey, right. The young lady, yeah, but that, that's my point. That's why I told him to bring it out. The young lady just walked past in her, put some booty shorts on. Brother's eyeballs went from what I was saying all the way down the street. The Bible proves his point. The Most High makes things manifest right in front of you. The woman is not supposed to wear pants. Why? Because he gave all of our women beautiful shapes. Your shapes are for your husband. Okay? Yeah. Built like a palace, the brother said. That's right. That's why he said, nah, man, y'all got to cover that thing up. Put on some dresses because you will make our brothers sin and look with their eyes and go a horrid. By Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. He make it manifest. He up there chuckling right now. <laughs> yeah. Let God be the truth of every man alive. Amen. Read right. on with us. Read that. This is Psalm 119.60. I made haste and delayed not to keep 
thy commandments. You made what? I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Hurry up. When I found out the truth, I got some nappy chin hair going on my face. And I got my behind behind this side and started teaching the word of God. Why? Read. Psalm 119.60. I made haste and delayed not. Delayed to not. Hurry up, get over here. Read. To keep thy commandments. To keep the Lord's commandments. That's right. A lot of brothers come out here. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Yahweh Shah, yeah, brother. Uh, 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 yeah, no, they did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shalom, brother. Say shalom, brother. How long you been in the truth? I've been knowing about.